dear students welcome to the epg patshala i am professor mp sujha retired from the department of library and information science gurunanak dev university amritsar we are going to discuss notation its qualities features and utility in library classifications notation belongs to the third and the last plan of classification that is notational plan for designing a whole classification system it is the most visible part of classification and is ultimate in library classification it is something that the users deal with to give you an analogy from making of movies idea plan is the story verbal plan is songs and dialogues notation is actors in the movie however notation has been given different importance by various classificationists melville dewey put all his emphasis on notation as if notation is a classification popularity of the ddc proves that he was right as he has chosen notation first and classification later ranganathan's approach is other way round he treats notation as a servant of the idea plan whatever be notation is important and not a mere adjunct for library classification and its success classification system as depends as much on notation as the movie depends as much on good actors for its success good classification needs good notation in deeds notational plane though the last plane of work in designing a library classification system yet it is the most visible face of the final product of library classification schedules being visible some people mistake it for the classification itself in fact notation can be defined as a series of symbols or codes to represent the subjects and their parts which were concepts and names in the idea and verbal planes respectively it is a plane which faithfully implements the findings or decisions of the idea plane and the verbal plane ranganathan called it as a servant of the idea plane it has got its own power and force introduction it's not a servant it is derogated to call it because it has got its own personality and power it's better to call it as a executive plane its position can be better understood by using an analogy of motion pictures as i have already said idea plane is story verbal plane is music and dialogues and the notational plane can be compared to the actors which are visible and you know that actors are more important so is the position of notation in library classification the function of notation in library classification is clear but its status is ambiguous at best it's rightly said that a bad notation may mar a good work in the idea plane but a good notation cannot improve the bad work of the idea plane so it is very important that classic notation should be good in itself for a good classification to work and to be effective notation is a system of shorthand symbols or series of symbols to denote subjects and their subdivisions by ordinal digits notation is the only required in library classification did digits used as notation have only ordinal value that is they show only order of subjects for example if a subject is denoted by a and another by b it doesn't mean that a is greater than b or b is greater than a it only simply means that b will follow a similarly in case of let us say in the ddc literature is 800 history is 900 it doesn't mean that 800 has more value than 900 or vice versa it simply means 
that 900 will follow 800. So, so they do not have any cardinal value, they do not have any weightage, only they have their ordinal value or their sequential value, they show the order. These digits are not cardinal or quantitative, not, neither they are qualitative. Notation conveys only the order, not value or weight. Notation is a constant sign by which we denote classes, subjects, aspects of document to form a class number and ultimately a call number. And I am to again repeat that notation is only required in library classification. It, it is not required in uh, knowledge classification, though knowledge classification can also uh, denote the subjects by some, some codes, but that is not the absolute requirement. Need and purpose. Classification notation is needed and it has got many roles. In the idea and verbal planes, every concept is given a considered and well thought place in the classification system of the map. But these terms, howsoever, cannot be assigned as index terms to the document in a library. This is mostly for the following reasons. Names or terms of a subject in the verbal plane are too long to be written as labels. Hence, we require short symbols to denote subjects and to arrange them. Names of subjects are different in different languages, whereas in library we have books in many languages. For example, mathematics is called Ganit in Hindi. Then where should we place a book of mathematics in Hindi? Whether under G or M. In every language, there is a problem of synonyms. For example, wages, salary, pay mean the same concept. Then under which term the document on this subject should be filed? Should it go under wages W or salary S and so on? Notation in library classification is more than series of brief symbols or for brevity. It is in fact the engine on which a classification system runs and works better to arrange subjects for information retrieval. The role of notation can be defined and argued with the following examples. Names of subjects keep changing. For example, economics was once called political economy. Education ministry is now called Ministry of Human Resources Development. Sri Lanka was called Salon. If names are used for arrangement of documents, then there would be many problems. The, we have to reclassify the subjects when the name changes. Moreover, the subjects will get scattered. For example, mathematics will come under M, whereas algebra will go to A, geometry to G, and trigonometry to T. A family will thus get scattered or dispersed, whereas the purpose of classification is to keep it together. Even if these names are labeled on the documents, how these will preserve the systematic order of subjects in arrays and chains chosen in the idea plan. Words in themselves cannot be arranged alphabetically. The other uses also include that it is an indispensable component of library classification, which is usually not required in knowledge classification or may be required as an, as an adjunct. It is the address of the document in the library and assures efficient working of the library catalog. So it brings the symbiosis between classification and cataloging. Apart from mechanizing the arrangement of documents on the shelves, it arranges entries in classified catalogs and shelf lists. It shows relations of subjects in the overall scheme of mapping of knowledge, helps in synthesis of compound and complex subjects makes possible the efficient use of the index. In the index, it is the reference point. In festered classification, it makes the structure of the subject quite transparent. It is essential for chain indexing, which is another contribution of Ranganathan to classification and indexing. It may be essential for arrangement of circulation in the library.
kinetics of notation as in the rd and purple planes raghunathan gave a long list of kinetics to be applied to the notation chosen and its construction canon of homonyms and synonyms canon of relativity and uniformity canon of hierarchy canon of mixed notation canon of hasted notation and canon of coextensiveness qualities of notation apart from all the above mandatory qualities as the gnathan terms them as canons other qualities of notation can be of three types we can divide them as optional or desirable qualities essential and vital and thirdly scientific brevity is optional quality mnemonics based notation again is a optional quality though may be bit scientific then there are three types of mnemonics as given alphabetical mnemonics scheduled mnemonics and seminal mnemonics in notation as described by s r ranganathan hospitality hospitality means to accommodate new subjects that may emerge in the future in the classification system without disturbing the existing ones and hospitality is the most essential rather vital quality of any notational system without it classification notation will not survive nor the classification itself therefore it is called vital quality of any notation and while making notation this quality or this factor must always be kept in view notation hospitality is also known by various other names non technically it is also known as flexibility or resilience or plasticity of classification when the classification can be stretched to accommodate new subjects it is essential as knowledge is simultaneously growing exponentially in multiple directions therefore any living and practical classification must have the capacity to give place to new subjects at their proper places later point is very essential new subjects should not be accommodate any place available but the place which is logical to them and fits their status that's why library classification has to be revised from time to time to include new subjects at their natural places and revision can only be useful if the notation has the flexibility and the capacity to accommodate new subjects hospitality hospitality can be seen at or should be provided at two levels one is hospitality by the classifiers who have to do or work in a routine with the classification system it means that if a classifier feels that a subject needs to be accommodated he or she should have some autonomy method and authority to put that new subject at its proper place without getting any instructions or waiting for the new addition and of course the essential thing is that hospitality by classificationist in the new addition and this of course can be done in various ways and most of them is the capacity of notation to accommodate new subjects and that will be handled by the classificationist and will be displayed or used while making new additions of a revision gap scenarios there are many traditional as well as very innovative methods for hospitality gap device is one traditional and looks very simple gap device is a method to accommodate future subjects it is used at every level of arrays in almost all classification gap device means leave some vacant numbers here and there to be filled with future and unborn subjects take the example of cc in the main class u geography there are some vacant places as shown here 
U1 is filled, U2 is filled, but U3 is vacant. And then U7 is also vacant. These are big gaps. It also means that if new branches of geography emerge in future, then the classificationist can think of accommodating them at these left gaps. And this is very tra traditional method, simple method, but it also have a problem that gaps cannot be left forever. A day may come when the gaps are filled, at least in the first order arrays. And second problem is that a subject may emerge, but the gaps already, already left may not be the proper places in it. And a classificationist may try to forcibly place the new subject at the vacant place. And this will, of course, distort out the structure of classification, as it has already happened in the DV decimal classification. Gaps in arrays. In the above example, U3 and U7 are vacant positions which can be filled later with the new topics or new branches of geography. And of course, I have already explained to you logical limitations and time limitations of the gap device. Subtracting digits. Rising above the gap device, Ranganathan came with a very innovative idea of factorizing digits for hospitality in array. This is an effective device to accommodate a subject at a proper place in an array even if no vacant place is left there. Factorizing digits can extend a notation at the desired place to accommodate or to put new subjects. For this, Ranganathan invented a very clever method of empty digits, now also called factorizing digits. In the column classification, the digits 0, 9, small z, and capital Z are empty digits, means they have not given any semantic meaning, so no subject or meaning is given to them. These digits are never used alone but used to repeat or these are repeated digits to extend an array. For example, in the decimal system, we have up to nine digits. In nine classes can be accommodated. But if you have more than nine classes of the same rank, then nine is a factorizing digit or repeated digits, then new entities at the end can be given. If the eight is filled, then 9192, and further also 991, 992, 993, 999, and so on. It also means, though visibly doesn't look so, but 1, 2, 3, 8, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 991, 993, 999 are all coordinate classes of equal rank. So, in this way, this array can be extended to any extent and there is a scope of hospitality to any level. Similarly, the subtracting digits can also be used in case we use alphabets, not numerals in the notation. We can extend an array using alphabets as A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and so on, y, then after y, if there is no place, then we can put new subjects with the notation z a, z b, z c, z y, z z a, z z b, z z c, and so on, z z x, and so on, we can go on repeating. Here, z has no semantic value, only ordinary value, it means it is semantically empty digits. Further, for hospitality in an array, the digits T, V, and X are set aside as emptying digits, as these digits emptying a preceding digit of its semantic meaning but allow to retain its ordinary value. For example, in the CC, K is zoology, L is medicine. No place is left between the two 
to insert a new but equally ranked coordinate. And this here, let us say, the subjective animal has a ventry. So, Ranganathan used the diode digit Kx for animal husbandry. It falls between two K zoology, Kx veterinary science, and L medicine. So, it may be noted that K, Kx, and L. Here, Kx is not part of K, but it's Kx is coordinate with K and is also coordinate with L. Though it lends under the notation, but it is very effective device to accommodate new subjects at their proper places. So here x is an empty digit. It doesn't mean economics here. And kx is not subordinated to k, but it is coordinate with k. Hence, it is very clever device to accommodate new subjects at proper places in an array. Extending the concept of empty or empty digits, Ragnarsson coined another or invented another device, what he called empty emptying digits. To make further rather almost unlimited interpolation in the colon classification, U, W, and Y have been postulated as empty emptying digits for array next to the main class arrays. It means that in the next class arrays, these digits u, w, and y will not be used. It means also that not only these digits are empty of any meaning, these also make other digits empty to which these are attached. It means that they eat away their meaning and make a new meaning of the two-digit notation. Hospitality in chain. Now we shift to the hospitality in chain. As Ranganathan resolved the problem of hospitality, at two levels, first in array, then in chains. Chain, as you know, is a sequence of classes in successively subordination or in decreasing extension. The DDC provides infinite hospitality in chain by the use of decimal fraction, which you can go on extending up to any limit. New subjects can be added at the end of a chain by decimal fraction, as it is done by most of the systems. This method is now used almost by all the classifications and classifications. Use of decimal numerals is almost norm while designing classification systems. And even nowadays, alphabets, when extended by other alphabet, they are also treated as decimally divided. Problems of notation. Notation has got many tasks to perform, and it is a visible part. It has to be handled by the users and the classifiers and of course it is indispensable but it has also got many problems. In many systems notation has become too complex and it may deter the users to use classification or it may confuse them even. Lengthy class numbers are inevitable in depth classification though these pose no problem in computers and lengthy notations are not user friendly. The order of digits in a mixed notation may not be comprehensible to a ordinary library users. For example, the colon uses numerals, Roman caps, Roman smalls, and punctuation marks. So, order may not be clear in which order they are to be filed, especially in case of punctuation marks, which also confuses the trained classifiers or the shelvers. Not only this, in the UDC, function marks are posing a problem in computerized arrangement as their value is not compatible with ASCII code or standards. Continue with the problems of notation or how to deal with them. The late great French classificationist and thinker Eric de Grolier regrets that we have not applied to library classification the progress the notation has made in other fields such as mathematics, logic, and chemistry. One hindrance in our library users who are lay persons and may not understand very advanced or special notation. So this is the central problem. Digital libraries may provide a virgin field to realize the full potential of notation in library classification. And if the library is fully automated, 
opacs we also may use some more sophisticated notation for specific numbers as in a digital collection you don't have to put the tall number also for small or big on the spine or on the that part of the document to summarize notation has been defined as series of shorted symbols for names of subjects and other concepts but in fact in function notation is much more than that notation is a system an artificial language to translate the subject of the document into ordinal numbers for arrangement on the shelves and in a catalog its other functions are to preserve and mechanize the order of subjects decided in the idea plan it helps in number synthesis shows hierarchy of subjects is an essential component of classified catalogs and a location tool in opacs and shelf lists but the most vital quality of notation is its hospitality that is to accommodate new subjects at their proper places when the new subjects come without disturbing the existing ones ddc uses it mostly by leaving gaps here and there for hospitality and by decimal fraction at the end of the chain gap device the popular in every sort of classification for hospitality it's not a scientific solution to the problem it is rather to postpone the problem and some day the spaces may be filled and there may be no place to uh, accommodate new subjects at their uh, proper place to help the solutions rangnathan invented the use of sector notation empty emptying digits to interpolate and extrapolate new subjects in an array devices given by rangnathan for making new oscillators or specifying the existing vague ones are availed of by the classifiers these devices are geographical device chronological device subject device superimposition device and alphabetical device more the number of devices for hospitality or specificity of subjects more complex a notation but such a notation is essential for complex subjects and which are growing day by day need is being felt to use in library classification advances made by notation in subjects like mathematics or chemistry